and device, machines for virgin coconut oil production, and copra dryers of various capacities, copra moisture meter, tender nut punch and cutter, deshelling machine, and many others have been developed to enhance the labor use efficiency. India is the largest producer of arachnid in the world. It produces 0.48 million tons of arachnid from an area of 0.38 million hectares and the productivity 1,268 kilogram per hectare. The regional station at Vittal is focusing on research and transfer of technology activities of arachnid and cocoa. The institute has a germplasm collection of 164 arachnid varieties, out of which 23 are exotic and 141 indigenous. CPCRI has released five high-yielding varieties, Mangala, Sumangala, Sri Mangala, Mohit Nagar and Swarnamangala, which give increased yields ranging from 50 to 85 percent, over and above the local varieties. The release of two dwarf hybrids, VTL-AH1 and VTL-AH2, produced by crossing Hirahalli Dwarf with Sumangala and Mohitnagar respectively, is a significant contribution of the institute. Package of practices for nursery management, planting, manuring and irrigation have been developed at regional station Witter. Various cropping systems involving arachnid have also been standardized at this station. Mixed cropping with cocoa, banana and spices were found to be profitable. Cocoa has been found to be an ideal mixed crop for arachnid garden. Integrated management techniques have been developed for the pests and diseases of arachnid. Cocoa germplasm comprising of 274 accessions from different parts of the world is being maintained here. Based on evaluation for performance in coconut and arachnid cropping systems, four hybrids and one superior clonal progeny have been identified for distribution to growers. They are high yielding with high bean qualities and having specific characters like pest and disease resistance and drought tolerance. Softwood grafting technique for cocoa has been standardized using four month old seedlings as rootstock. This method has been practiced on a large scale as the success rate is 60 to 80 percent. Every year, more than 1 lakh grafts are being supplied by the institute to the farmers. Development of integrated management practices for major pests and diseases in cocoa is yet another contribution by the scientists of this station. The social sciences division at the headquarters and regional stations are well organized. Extension section of the social sciences division undertakes various technology transfer activities like organizing training programs, field demonstrations of technologies, conducting research extension farmer interface programs, exhibitions, seminars, mass media interventions, cyber extension programs, etc.
Besides, research on various aspects of technology generation, transfer and utilization in mandate crops is being conducted by extension section. Distribution of quality planting materials to needy farmers is an important activity of the institute. Krishivigyan Kendras for Kasargod and Alapura districts are functioning under the institute for taking up training programs for farmers, farm women, rural youth and entrepreneurs for knowledge and skill upgradation. Frontline demonstrations and on-farm trials are also taken up for assessment and refinement of technologies. The Agricultural Technology Information Center, ATIC, situated at Kasargod, functions as a single window system for farmers and those who love farming by providing them with quality planting materials and other inputs, offering information services and giving technology support. Systematic and focused research undertaken by the Institute over the last several decades has resulted in the development of large number of technologies to benefit the farming community to enhance their productivity and profitability. Technologies like high yielding varieties, cropping system models, mixed farming system, integrated nutrient management, integrated pest and disease management, value addition technologies and the machineries will greatly help the farming community to reap better harvest from their farming and to achieve competitiveness. Several outreach programs have been undertaken by the Institute in a farmer participatory mode to disseminate the technologies to the grassroots level. Yes, the CPCRI has been contributing a lot for the betterment of its mandate crops namely coconut, arachnid and cocoa. It has bagged a number of prestigious national awards in recognition of its outstanding contributions. It has also been successful in organizing a number of initiatives at national and international levels including International Conference on Coconut Biodiversity for Prosperity. But much more remains to be done. We are well aware of the expectations and the gigantic task that lies ahead of us. We have been successful in the past to deliver the goods. We will continue our efforts to respond to the emerging challenges by bringing in new tools of science for the technology-led development of the sector and farmers' prosperity.